Hey YouTube, Shukin Shinobi here with a review of the Kamen Rider Wizard DX Wizard Sword Gun. So this is the main weapon for pretty much all of the styles of Kamen Rider Wizard. It's a sword, it's a gun, it's magical, so it's a wizard sword gun. I would like to point out that it is Wizard Sword Gun because of puns and wizards. I don't know. But it's funny and stuff. So, you got the sword gun right here in the gun mode, flame style. Hurricane ring and land ring are included with this. So this is a necessary toy to complete all of your four wizard styles. Um, of course, you can just pick them up in capsule and candy toy versions, uh, should you so desire. So, um, yeah, you can do that too. All stuff on the back. Box is rather long because it's packed in the sword mode, or at least partly into sword mode. So you got quite a bit of a quite a bit of a big package there. There we go, <laughs> big package. So anyway, here is our wizard sword gun, and it is on right now. So let's turn it off. Lots of chrome. It's a lot like the wizard driver in terms of just general design. You got the big hand up here that opens up when you pull up the thumb. So you can shake his hand. They'll, they'll tell you to do that, so it's kind of a necessary thing. Uh, and lots of chrome throughout the barrel of the gun right here. A clear plastic right here where the LED will be. Uh, thin kind of rubbery plastic for the blade components. And then a grayish plastic or silver paint throughout the rest of the toy. Looks really cool, and I do like it. Uh, it's very inaccurate in size. Uh, Haruto's wizard sword gun is huge. It's, like, impractically huge. Um, and this one is very small. The gun mode isn't too bad. It's inaccurate to the show, but it still feels like a nice, decently sized gun in your hand. Um, the sword mode, however, if we transform that real quick, is very, very dinky. It's about the same size as the engine blade, give or take, so engine blade peeps you know what I'm talking about here uh, so yeah it's kind of dinky in sword mode but I think the gun mode makes up for it even if it's uh, inaccurate to the show in terms of size it still feels pretty nice in the hand so anyway uh, like I said this comes with the land and hurricane style rings so your wizard ring holder can now look like this which looks pretty neat in my humble opinion so I like that, uh, the fact that it does come with these. Yeah, it was kind of a kick in the face, but it's Bandai, you knew they were going to do this, so it's not really a surprise whatsoever. So I'll go ahead and take these off and set that aside since we'll need those. Bring in our wizard driver, which is on, hopefully. Yes, it is. And activate the tension mode. And the kick strike for the hurricane side. Now for land style. And the kick strike. There you go. So now that we have messed around with those, on to the functions of the wizard sword gun. So this does take three AAA batteries, one here and two here. This one operates the scanning mechanism. And I believe this one activates all of the other sounds. Since the scanner chunk is in this big hunk of plastic right here. I think that's how the banners route the power. I don't know. I might just be completely lying out of my butt. So turn that on. You will get a white light right here. It is kind of hard to see the white light. Thanks to the white light I'm using as lighting. But it's there, I promise. So, uh, every time you fire, you'll get a nice change of color from here. It'll cycle between red, blue, green, yellow, and white. 
So. It's like a rave. So only one firing sound, so nothing that amazing. Uh, when you switch it to the sword mode, nothing activates when you do that, but if you press down the button back here, that will unlock the blade, swing that around, and now you have the blade mode. Again, it will cycle through the same colors, but it makes two different noises. So that's pretty cool. Um, it does actually make more colors than that, which we will see shortly. Uh, when it cycles through attacks and stuff, there is like an orange light, a purple light. It's a seven color LED, I believe. So you got a bunch of different little mixtures in there. So pretty cool. Um, we've got a lot to do, so let's get on with it. Uh, obviously, each of these styles has a slash strike and shooting strike. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. Convert back to our gun mode. And, like I said, you just pull the lever on this and the hand will pop up. Let's get our flame wizard ring ready. There's the LED color change I was talking about. Now onto water, just close it like that and reopen it. Now for hurricane. And land. So kind of like the kick strike, it adds the it adds it adds the element sound before the actual attack sound. So it's not that huge of a change, but you do get the he he he, the do do do, the swee swee swee, and the foo foo foo, which is always fun. Uh, as for everything else, they all make a generic attack sound. So for example, let's use the kick strike ring. Now, if you did notice when it was saying kick strike, that was showing up as an orange color, which I think is pretty neat. Now, all of them play the same exact generic attack sound in them. It does nothing additional. Here's big. But just to show, I'm not going to do it for everyone, but just to show that uh, you can do, like, Garuda. And so, Unicorn. So they all do a generic attack. So onto the slash strikes. So they have come on a slash shake hands. Just like 
And we'll use driver on for the random effect. Just because that one's fun to me. Yeah, so there you go. So you get the generic attack, and then you have the four elemental ones. So, uh, it's currently unknown if anything else can be activated in this, like copy or something like this, because there wasn't a copy ring made yet as of this recording. Uh, so I don't know if it'll make a sound, since he did use the copy ring on the wizard sword gun in the show and make two wizard sword guns. So it's unknown if it'll make an additional sound in this or not. The dragon rings all have a very similar function to the elemental rings. So we'll take a look at that once I uh, review the flame style set. And of course, just for kicks from now on, in Wizard's Ring set reviews, I will show them in both the driver and the wizard sword gun, just so people know what they do. Even though most of them will end up being just the generic attack sound. So, uh, as for this toy, I actually really dig it. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do. Um, the, the sword mode is... might as well not be there. In fact, it shouldn't be there so much, I'm just not going to do it. Um, I, like, it's not bad, it's just so so small that it's just not good and not worth it at whatsoever. But the gun mode, however, does feel nice in the hand, even if it is inaccurate to the show's presentation of how large this thing is. But uh, if you can ignore that, it is a nice-feeling gun toy, and uh, I don't mind it whatsoever. And the fact that it actually has a full-functioning scanner that will pick up all of the wizard rings released is an additional nice touch as well. So if you manage to pick this up and don't have the driver just yet, because the driver still is actually kind of difficult to find every now and then, uh, then you actually have something that can scan the rings. Uh, granted, it won't scan them as well because it doesn't have all the additional sounds in it, but it has the capability to do so, and I think that's a nice touch that makes this a little bit more of a unique thing for the gimmick weapons. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. If you can pick this up, I do recommend it. Uh, it is the only way to get the deluxe land and hurricane rings. The capsule and candy toy ones won't have this painted rim right here. It'll just be gray plastic. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Overall, a very cool toy that I do recommend picking up if you're a fan of Wizard. So you can check out SugarShowBay.com for this updates and my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out RidersRingRambles.com, the podcast being the latest token news and crazy way possible. And last but not least, you can check out cstoysjapan.com for this and more Common Rider Wizard merchandise. So take care and have a great one. Bye.